I want uh, to invite each and every one of us here tonight to uh, pray about a certain situation that arised up in the news. For those that may have encountered it um, on the news or maybe have heard about it, but this Sunday a video was released and um, it was released on Twitter and about 21 men, Christian men, were martyred in Libya. And for those that may not know what the word martyr means, it means been killed because of their faith. And so 21 men were kidnapped in around December and January. And what was happening was the ISIS group was going house to house, knocking, and they had a list of Christians, okay? And so when they would go house to house, what would happen is they would call them by name, and if they responded, they grabbed them and kidnapped them. And these 21 men responded. And there was a list that was released confirming their deaths because they were all beheaded. And the video was released on Sunday. Now, there was a witness on one of the nights that these ISIS group was coming door to door. And I want to ask real quick, who is 19 years old here? Who is 19? Raise your hand. Raise it high. Okay, around 19, 20, there's a lot of people here that are around that age. I want to tell you there was a 19-year-old boy, or excuse me, teenager, and he was in a house and he was Christian. Now, a Muslim called him, it was his neighbor, and called and said, do not respond when they call you by name because they are looking for Christians to kill. And so he barely escaped death. And I want to tell you guys, it's people like you and I, for those that are 19 years old, imagine because you are sitting here, because of your faith, you're, you are about to die. Imagine that. It is you and me. These men, all they did, these are called Coptic Christians. Now, the word Coptic Christians means it's a Greek word for Egyptian. Now, all of these men, that 21 men, they were from, uh, they reside in Egypt, going to Libya to look for work. All they simply were doing was looking for work, and they died because they were Christians. And it's people like them that is people like us here. Just because we think, oh, wow, we're here free in America. We can stand for our faith. I want to let you know is that people are dying. Now, I want to speak about our statistics uh, of martyrs. I want to tell you that there's about 105,000 Christians that get martyred every year, approximately. Martyred mean literally being killed. And 100 million per year that are being persecuted, being impacted and being affected because they believe in Jesus Christ. Now, this is the biggest community and the biggest group that is actually affected of being persecuted and martyred this very uh, moment is Christians. No one else but Christians. So this is a huge issue. And I want to let you know, how many of you guys feel tonight privileged that you are free to believe in Jesus Christ and walk and proclaim the gospel to anyone you like, please, and sit here without worry that you're going to die leaving these doors? Amen? And I, amen, come on. Now, I know this is a heavy subject. Okay, this is a very heavy thing, but I want to let you know this is real and this happens. And I want us to come to believe that God wants to use you to bring revival for your family, for your friends, everywhere you go. Just Lily was encouraging us about this upcoming Wednesday is going to be, what? The Miracle Catch service, where you have an opportunity, say opportunity, opportunity. to invite whoever you'd like that you come into encounter with and have their lives be changed forevermore. Amen? How many of you guys are sitting here and your life has been changed? Come on. Amen? And your life, if it hasn't been yet, it will be tonight. Amen? And I want to invite each and every one of you guys to be challenged, like Lilia said, to be bold and be like, you know what? I have the freedom to speak and speak life into people. God wants to use me, and I live here. And I want to invite us right now is to pray for those that are being affected and being impacted all around the world for their uh, prosecution, for their protection, and for their endurance. Amen?